Time now for the tail of the tape presented by Geico for this super welterweight matchup here between Isha Sugar Shea Smith and Frank Notorious Galarza. So Galarza's got the seven year age advantage and he's also two inches tall, the reach is dead even. And both fighters, you see Galarza's 154. Smith came in a little heavy, but the fight is rolling on. Time now for the official fighter productions presented by Geico. And for that, we send it over to Ray Flores. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Chelsea at the Cosmopolitan here in Las Vegas, Nevada, Premier Boxing Champions now features the main event. Live on bounce, 10 rounds in the Super Welterweight Division. The three judges ringside are Kermit Bayless, Dave Moretti, and Glenn Trowbridge. And the referee in charge, when the bell sounds, Vic Draculich. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the white with the blue trim. His professional record is 17 victories, one loss, two draws, 11 wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Brooklyn, New York. Oh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the Brooklyn Rocky, Frank. Notorious Galarza. And across the ring, his adversary fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the black, red, and the silver. As a professional, 28 victories, a dozen of those by way of knockout against eight losses, fighting and representing Las Vegas, Nevada. He is the former champion, Ishay Sugar Shay. All right, gentlemen, this fight's scheduled for 10 rounds. Again, I want to caution you. Any punch below this area, you're going to be called low. Any punch below this area, you're going to be called low. With that said, I want you to obey my command. Protect yourself at all times. Touch them up now. Good luck to both of you. Touch them up. Here we go. As you take a look at the uh, Nevada rules, we are all set here for our super welterweight bout here between East Day Smith, who is uh, from Las Vegas, former champion, and going up against Frank Galarza, who would love to uh, get his hands on uh, one of those uh, title belts down the road. And there is Smith, the 28 and 8. But we talked about it at the top of the telecast, 3 and 3 in his last 6, and 10 and 7 in his last 17. And so here we go. Round one of a scheduled 10 rounder. So Smith in the gray, red, and black trunks. And Galarza in the white and blue. It's a good obvious fill out round. They're not too anxious to get in there yet. Smith has been at this. For a couple of decades, amateur career, a great pedigree, 110 and 17. And you name it, in terms of big names, he's been in the ring with him. Harris Landy Laura, Cornelius Bundridge, that's who we beat to win his title. Daniel Jacobs, Sergio Morris. Smith tries to. Do a little work on the belt line. Uh, Frank Lars. Nice crowd here at the Chelsea. Cosmopolitan of Las Vegas. Yeah, I'm glad these guys are using their jab. Nice little uppercut to the gut. Frank Lars in. Body. Isha, the up on the oh, my God. It's a real good idea for Galarza to, to start the body early. Knowing uh, that Isha doesn't like a high tempo, you know, take his body down early, he will never be able to, to up his tempo. Oh, this is a big right hand there from Isha Smith. Familiar guard, uh, Smith, he likes to keep both hands high. Good defensive fighter. That's a shot. And there's a Pat Smith there in that exchange. While Isha was winding up with the left. And 
Galarza snuck in there. Well, he says being a bit more aggressive than we usually see. It's to make it for a good fight. A little bit more than a, a feeling out process in round one. Good right hand. Sure he was. Let's put through the guard, but the smoke lets his hands go here. And Ishe Smith, he has been the more active fighter in the first round. Yeah. Right. One round in the books. It's scheduled for 10 here. Super Walterweight affair here. Smith and Galarza. It's just seen a, a good night of uh, fights here. Round two of a scheduled 10 rounder. And Ishe Smith, a little bit busier maybe than we expected here in the first round. Uh, he, he heard my keys to victory at the end. Well, you know, look, he says he's 38 years of age. And, you know, for people who think he's playing out the string here, he says that, uh, you know, they're dead wrong. He, he's all about seeing if he can uh, get a, another taste of a championship belt. You know, when he beat Cornelius Bundridge, he didn't hold the belt for too much longer. Break! 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 His next fight, you know, was a loss. So he's eager to get it back here. Nice stab to the body. Got a little red spot on his stomach. Good work there by Ishe Smith, but Galarza finishes the exchange. Good body. Nice hook to the towel. He looked like he stabbed Ishe for a little bit. Galarza, meanwhile, last time he was out, he was dropped in the third round by Jared Hurd, and then in the sixth, he was taking more punishment, and it was stopped. And he said, when we talked to him yesterday, there were a few issues, I mean, coming into that fight. He said, basically, didn't trade properly in terms of a weight perspective. They didn't manage his weight properly when they were getting him ready. We ended up having to lose a little bit too much weight down the stretch. Wasn't in the right frame of mind. Yeah, weight issues can definitely affect your game. I mean, you know, it's part of your life. You're not fully there. And it's hard to perform. And both these guys have overcome adversity throughout their life. Ishe has battled depression. He's had a great story, a triumph of redemption. And Frank Galarza's story, the wealth chronicle, lost his, both his parents at an early age from the Red Hook section of Brooklyn. And lost a cousin as well to gun violence. And from that point on, Dedicated himself. Big way to go! Ishe Smith! And he puts Frank Galarza on the canvas. Four! Frank Galarza uses his gloves Seven. to maintain Eight. his balance. And that's a knockdown. So Vic Dracula's there with the count. Five! So right at the end of the second round. Oh. And now both fighters continue to cheer. Ishe Smith needs business here in his hometown of Las Vegas as he catches Galarza with a right hand. Yeah, it was a good, I didn't know if he was off balance or if it was a, it was a clean shot, but it was a clean right hand. House comes alive early. Bring him down. I think Ishe Smith was listening yeah, to your keys of victory, huh? Yeah, he must have been, because he's definitely putting in work. Austin Trout and his keys to victory said Ishe Smith needed to start early. And he has here, scoring a knockdown in the second round. It was pretty impressive in his first round, at least the busier of the two fighters. And so right off the bat here, as we start round three, Smith's in a good spot. Unloads about the three or four jabs. The intensity, you, know, you get the feeling that he's about to pick up. Because right. Galarza knows he's behind. That's right, Galarza knows he's behind. 
And, and I mean, it's not time to get desperate to the third round, but he's definitely got to start putting some rounds in the bank. You mentioned Galaza had a rough upbringing, hard childhood, but he's definitely turned it around. He's starting to help kids. Uh, he's got his own nonprofit in there. And, uh, yeah, he says the well, boxing brings the kids in, but once they get in, he does mentoring, he does ministering to these kids and helps out all these kids out from the neighborhood. It's great. Uh, his organization is called Youth Fighting Forward, and he noticed, he said he was a youth pastor, and he noticed that in talking to the kids, you're often talking to kids about right and wrong and doing the right thing, but, but after that, the kids still had no place to go. And so Cable put the idea that he wanted to start his foundation and wanted to give kids an opportunity, a place to come, work out, work out some of their frustration, teach them, introduce them to boxing. Not so that they'd all end up being world champions, but give them something constructive to do. There's so many different things. Nice, nice one, too, there from Galarza. There's so many different things that you can learn about life yeah. uh, through the sport of boxing. Discipline, being on time, uh, being in good condition. He's Shea Smith with a nice right hand. I mean, even the nutrition and, and the health part, part yep. of it. You know, get good exercise. He said, you know, he take, he's Shea Smith letting his hands go. Said he take kids who have anger right. management issues and teach them it's not all about you know, boxing sometimes can help with that. And you say, how's boxing going to help with that? Because you got to learn when you need to be in all out aggressor, but also be in control. Boxing teaches you when That's you have right. to step back and be in control. So a lot of good work that, that Frank Galarza is doing in the, uh, the community there. Back home in Brooklyn, they call him the Brooklyn Rocky because of his story. One of the local uh, sports reporters in, in New York, sports anchors, Bruce Beck, Clinton the Brooklyn Rocky, and it's stuck, and he'll take it. He takes it to heart. Ishe Smith continues to let his hands go, but the large are getting a little closer to him here in the third round. Now, let's go back here, Austin, to take a look at the knockdown, and you said you thought for a second, maybe, that he was able to just Yeah, I thought he was a little off balance, but as I see, you know, it was a good shot to the temple that, that really, that made him get off balance. So just see, Second time that he has been knocked down. He was knocked out in his last fight as well. DJ Smith says, I'm here. Let's do it. And there is Money Mayweather and Floyd Mayweather in the house. The man behind yeah, Mayweather promotions. And you know, he's marked with DJ Smith way back in the day when, when Floyd was doing his thing as a great Olympian back in what 1996. And DJ was one of the first fighters. And he's Floyd's on. Right. That's right. Okay. Second down. A little different sense of urgency in round three there from Frank Delarzo after the knockdown in round two. So as we start the fourth round, three rounds were in the books. And Austin pulling double duty tonight. <laughs> also scoring the fight as well. So Austin, how do you have it here through three? Um, right now it's Austin Smith. He's taking each round, I believe. Some rounds have been closer to others, but besides for the knockdown, but it's uh, it's it's all Ishe. So you have Ishe Smith up three rounds to nothing plus the two-point round and the second round. So that's a combination in the corner from Galarza. And there's Austin yeah, scoreboard. So it's a four-point lead right now for Ishe Smith. So Frank Galarza. Maybe hearing that that same advice in his corner, he got to be down off him. Got to pick it up. Yeah, definitely. You know, like I say, he's got to outwork Ishe, and Ishe's not landing. But as you can see, Ishe's body is red from all that body work that uh, Galarza's putting in this round. Punch was blocked there by Galarza. That's one two. Good right hand there from Ishe Smith. The new and improved D.C. Smith in terms of, in terms of activity. Oh, Looks like he's not getting old just yet. 38 years of age. Just turned 38. July 22nd. Let's go. Keep it 
you're in Ishe's corner, you Bob Ware, you gotta like what you see. Yeah, you know, he, he's, he's taking control of the fight. And now he's actually starting to dictate the pace, you know? Lars has got to get him out of his rhythm. There's a misses there with the, uh, the overhand right. Good body shot. He really should invest in that body. Right uh, there. with a scraping left hand. Lise comes back. Nice little combination. With a left hook of his own. Oh, Frank oh, Big hook. Comes upstairs. Probably his best punch of the fight. And there's a shot there to the kidneys. He says Smith on the hook. Look at Larson. Punches Smith. Great stuff here in the fourth. Big power right, shots. Right, right. Right, the end of the round here, Austin. Nice little exchange, you know, drama back and forth. Galarza catches Ishe, Ishe comes right back to catch the Galarza. And good drama, good good way to end a round. Tough round to score, too. Well, Frank Galarza yeah. probably yeah, realized yeah. it's got to pick it up a little bit. Frank. And it certainly looked like he did there in the fourth round, especially the last minute or so. Galarza from Brooklyn does his work at the Starlet City gym there. And there have been some big names that have come out of that section of Brooklyn. Danny Jacobs, Shannon Briggs, Luis Galazzo, Travis Sims. My man Will Rosinski. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, he's from that, that area. And they feel like they've got a pretty good thing going here. Put something behind it, though, you know? Well, good to see both fighters at least showing a renewed commitment to the jab here in the fifth round. Galarza had a moment they kind of put him on the map when he had a, uh, a devastating breakout at their performance where he knocked out John Thompson. In the second round, Thompson at the time was 14 and 0. And that's what kind of announced Galarza to the end of the big time contenders. Good shot by Galarza, but then Smith, he settles in and delivers a right hand of the box. That was Galarza started getting more on his toes, and I think it's yep. helping him get in a better rhythm. Shea Smith jabbing to the body and then coming upstairs. See the veteran craftiness. Yeah, he's got Shea these little tricks, man. Just a good discipline. I mean, hasn't abandoned the jab. We're seeing because he's more offensive. Nice right hand by Smith, and they both connect on power shots upstairs. Smith connects with a left hand to the head of Galarza, and Galarza comes right back and touches the body. We're going to have to see if these body shots will play out. I think it's a good investment, Galarza's is doing. Yeah, but you, you see some of the veteran skills of Sugar Shea Smith. Oh, 
we'll connect it after the bell. I'm sure Nirmo Lorik, who's talking to his fighter right now, Frank Galarza is going to tell him, hey, don't try to be tough after the bell and stand there with your chin out there. Listen for the bell. Vic Dracula. Keep, keep that jab. Keep it here. That Ishe body. Smith. Hey, that. no more of that stuff. Okay. Bell rings. Yeah. Shut it down. Don't grab the fucking hand. Keep the hands up, man. Come on, baby. Hey, okay. We bouncing and we ain't throwing. Okay. Yeah. Hold, hold. 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 Keep them hands high and punch, man. You don't bring your head up. Ishe Smith, normally a bit of a slow starter. But uh, I tell you what, that has not been the case tonight. As he has come out. We've seen obviously the usual stalwart defense, but he's been more aggressive from the opening bell. And right now we are in round six of the scheduled 10 round fight. He's got the knockdown in the second round. And you know, with some of those exchanges there, those power punching exchanges that we've seen at the end of the last couple of rounds, a couple of difficult rounds to score. But yeah. you could you could see a scenario where he's he's leading. Um, and he's leading and he's he's pushing the issue. Uh, at some times, if, if Ishe wasn't doing the right thing, then nothing would have been done. My friend's got to stop it. He's got he's got to start you know pushing the issue himself. See if Galarza picks up the pace. She mentioned it that in round five was up on his toes a little bit. Well, I felt like he had success jack. while he was on his toes, but you know, he, he got away from it at the end of that round. Two shots to the body. Again, it's a point Austin is made. Galarza's investing in work to Smith's body, and we'll see if it shows up in a few rounds. If, you, if you're in Ishe Smith's corner, this is, this is the easy one for you. What are you telling him? Keep going, man. <laughs> he, no, he really, he can let his hands go more, though. Okay. You know, he has success when he does. He just doesn't do it often enough. Right now, this one's a little bit, a little bit more difficult than that. I, I, I say the test of the last. If you're, if you're in Frank Alonzo's corner, what are you telling your prize people? He's got to let his hands go. Four or five punch combinations. He needs to be first and last. He should be first there. Oh, oh, big oh, right here from Isha Smith. And it snaps ahead of the Larsa. So Smith delivery punches here with conviction in the sixth round. He catches the Larsa, but then the Larsa catches him when he's wide open with a left hook counter. It was a good shot. He even got a little whip under Isha's eye from the left hook. Ishe Smith, oh, but also busy. Also, also, I like the distance uh, between the two from Smith's perspective, mm -hmm. because when he wants to deliver, he's got enough room to step into his pitches. And he does, his distance is good. And, uh, he gets in and out well. To get another two uh, another nice round here from, from Ishe Smith. And, and let's take a look at the right that happened right in the middle of the ring here, Austin. And a good right hand. You know, Galarza, he, he shook it off well. Sure did. Sturdy chin. And it was definitely on the button. But again, I mean, Smith. How you feel, Chan? Good leverage in the middle of the ring. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it was able it's to step in the back fucking as well. middle of the ring. To get in and out of, of reach. Okay. Okay, you go down here, fake it, boom. Okay? Give a little sip of water. Body and head. All right? Okay. Damn the pun sometime. Okay. Yes. Come on, man. Come on, come on. Come on, baby. Let's go. You're digging a hole. I got you, right? Come on. A little bit of urgency there in Frank Alaris' corner. Yeah, and then they need it. He's running out of time. And he also has that 10-8 round that was in the second round. So 
that makes his time even shorter. As we start the seventh round, scheduled ten round super welterweight affair between Galarza and Smith. Frank Galarza comes out of the blocks out here in the seventh. Austin, and how'd you have it here through six? Through six, I got Ishe up uh, by three rounds. Well, three points, really. Uh, the, again, the second round being a 10-8 round. But, you know, he's outworking Galarza, and he was catching Galarza with the more, with the more uh, credible shots. Galarza trying to size up Smith, has him up against the ropes. This is a good place for Galarza. Let his hands go. He's making the most of it. Sure is. Yes, Tough to tell whether Smith is just taking a break. Because he said certainly could have gotten out of there, but he elected to stay there. It doesn't look good now. It rolls him around. But Galarza keeps punching and gets away from the ropes. Nice work here from Frank Galarza in the seventh nice round. Mixing it up upstairs, downstairs. He's starting the combinations and he's finishing them. And he gets Ishe Smith right back in the corner. Lands a left hand. Shots now, no doubt. Later, round, later rounds here of this fight in the seventh. More body work from Galarza. Frank Galarza has dominated right. round seven. Absolutely, if he keeps the seven up, he's definitely got a good chance. Now he got out, he got out the ropes and he didn't do anything about the position. He just let him off the hook. Good round for Galarza. Right, let's show you some highlights from earlier tonight on the card. Jillian Love taking out Deshaun Johnson. And Johnson was doing a, a pretty nice job early on. Super middleweights, but in the uh, sixth round, big uppercut into the fight. Big shot there. Johnson seemed confused, like he didn't understand why that was called a knockdown. But Love, his feet didn't tangle here with Johnson. And then here, the fight gets stopped. No more, no more, no more. As Jay Nady no really had no more. other choice because Johnson wasn't throwing any punches, but Johnson, incredulous, couldn't believe it. Nevertheless, Jay Leon Love improves to 23 and one with 12 knockouts and with a six round knockout victory over Deshaun Johnson. That Second down. Right in front of us. Right, right in that front. uppercut Man. there. It was a picture perfect right on the dot. You couldn't have built a bit of script for an uppercut. So here we go. Round eight of a scheduled 10 round bout here between the journeyman, Ishe Smith, the former world champion, and a guy who's trying to get his name back in the championship contender conversations, going up against the uh, top prospect, Frank Galarza, who wanted to be impressive here, undefeated before his last fight, and was knocked out by Jared Hurd. Hurd, incidentally, undefeated as well, so it wasn't like Galarza was in with somebody who was supposed to be an opponent. So Galarza was anxious and said, bring on Ishe Smith. I want to show the world that I'm not afraid of anybody at any time. Has his hands full, though, here tonight as Smith has done a pretty nice job from start to finish so far. 
Well, Galaz needs to go back to what was working the last round. And, you know, get busy. Let them hands go. Well, it seems though like Smith, after maybe taking a breather in round seven, he's more active here in the eight. Jabbing more, also in the middle of the ring a little bit, circling. Here's where Galarza has to get busy if he wants to do it. Sorry, halfway through the round. And although no one's hit anybody with anybody, anything, you know, no. Yeah. Nice right hand. There Long it is. right hand down the pipe from Frank Galarza. And it turns ahead of Ishe Smith. Missed that time to Galarza. Smith with a little veteran savvy, leans on him. Oh, good body shot from Smith. Galarza with an uppercut. Work out, work out, work out. Right. And, and there's Smith dying him up. Guy's been a pro for 16 years. Nice right, right hand from Galarza. Crowd into it here. And round eight of the scheduled 10 round. Right. He's up, he's up. Okay. This right here is a headache to score, you know. Very even. What are you looking for? Mr. Well, Mr. Dual Threat here in the stand. <laughs> That's going to fight as well. So tell me what you're looking for in terms of. So he's going to figure out who's going to win. Three shots. Great right, generation. Right, effective aggression. Aggression. Effective counter. Sometimes, sometimes there's a come down to who threw the harder shots or who would you rather have been in that round? <laughs> You know, that's, that's, what, that's the problem about right. you know, the judging. It's really all about opinion. Right. Good round there in the eighth. Good back and forth action that round. Both guys landed some nice power shots. Big straight right hand there. And now here's Smith to the body, Austin. Oh, yeah. He reached around that elbow to catch that nice body that's shot. Right. Okay, work, work, work. Just listen. You ready to quit, man. You get, every time he quit, ready to quit, you're bringing him back. Okay. All right? Okay. Come on. We in this fight, but you got to win these two rounds. Okay. You okay. understand what I'm saying? Give me that thug, right? Come on, man. Going in top. Okay? Okay, Chung. I want to see these two rounds, okay? Okay. We're looking at Ishe's body uh, language. He's Let's showing Come on. signs of fatigue. You know, he's slouched down, mouth open. Gym. You know, doesn't have his legs out. He's only got two more rounds, though. Yeah, he's been working hard. Yeah, he's been working. <laughs> he's been working hard. So here we are, round nine of a scheduled ten rounder. Man, you heard Nirmal Ward in the corner. Frank Alarch is saying we need these two rounds here. And they do. And Bob Nowhere in Ishe Smith's corner. He's, Keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> Keep doing what you're doing. Galarza, good body work there. Five shots to the body before he comes back upstairs with a one-two. New body work. Ishe Smith reaching up the to the body for Galarza. He's not a guy who's been down very often in his career. Two fights ago against Vice Morozzi, he was down twice in a fight he lost. But he's a tough guy to put down on the canvas as he should Smith. Yeah, the Lions are having a good round, you know, being you know, busier than he said. Right, but is it good enough? Yeah, nice left hook right. there. Right. Yeah, I definitely think it's good enough to win this round if he keeps it up. Nice right to the body. You see Ishe's body is red from all these body shots. 
Smith, though, still doing a nice job with the jab. He's committed to it. There he is. There's three jabs in a row. He's breaking Galarza's attack. That's right. It's a good lesson for all the young fighters out there. Don't give up on it. Because you can set up a shot like that. A right hand. Big drag to it, she tells. Galarza, keep it up. Keep it up. And now Smith. Going to take a little bit of time. So he took just a second there. Could have taken more if he wanted to. We have up to five minutes. That's right. Nice. Oh, that's right. Good time. Right now you're right on the top. He's he's right. Right. Again, when he lets his hands go, he, he's very effective. He just doesn't do it enough. But often enough. As the ninth round comes to a close, in all likelihood, Galarza did enough there to win the ninth round. But where is he in terms of the entire fight? So look now earlier and good body work from Galarza. I, I'm telling you, I, I believe that's why Ishe is, is, is slowed down so much. But Ishe continuing to jab. Yep, breaking his attack up, not letting him set. You know, keeping him off balance with the jab. The kid's watching you, man. Come on, baby. You in shape. You in good condition. All right? Punch. Punch. All right? That's it. Hands high. I got you. All right? All right? This round we need, man. Let's fuck him up. All right? It's your time. Come on. He had his time already. This is Trank time. All right? Let's go. Come on. Yes. Frank Galarza telling his trainer, I got you. I got you. This is what they need this round. He said, Isha had his time. This is your time. But I, I'm not so sure Isha Smith would agree with that. Isha still Thank thinks you know, guys. he's got some time left. <laughs> Real slow coming out the corner. Even though he's having a conversation. All right, Austin, give me a scorecard here as we hit the 10th and final round. I, I have it evened up. Right. Yeah. Oh. They need this round. So in your estimation, the winner wins. That's right, whoever wins this round, in my opinion, wins the fight. Good overhand. Let's go, starts out here with a little bit more aggression. Let's go! Keep in mind, this is the guy, Frank Delarge, only had 11 amateur fights. But then when he did get involved, he was 2012 National Golden Glove gold medalist. Stepped in the gym for the first time at 13, then went hard at it at 18, and decided to turn pro early. Oh, nice left hand from Ishe Smith. Good power shots here in the 10th and final round. Good exchange both from both fighters. Sensing the idea that the winner of this round May walk out oh, the victor. Oh, oh. Galarza misses. Meanwhile, oh. for Ishe Smith here, go all the way back to his days as an amateur. Then with Zab Judah. Had an opportunity to make the 96 Olympic team, lost to Judah. Galarza's right. plenty of work That's inside. Hold. Hold. I mean, that, that could be the difference between who wins or not this fight. The, you got the uh, silver at the 96 Nationals, lost to Hector uh, Camacho Jr. Let go in there, let go in there. Right. See, that work That's inside thing is what's going to be the difference in this round. Right, no chance, baby. Galarza doing a little talking doing now. His output is, is dropped. He's, he's not doing much of anything right now. The last 30 seconds. seconds left. That's right. Here we go. Here we got some more. Nice left hook there by Frank Galarza. Here we go. He said when he's probably shot, Galarza comes back. Final 20. Who has a little bit more left in the tank? Smith. Three points combination. Again.
How about that action there at the end of the 10th round? Great to see that sportsmanship as the guys, they embrace. But outstanding commitment there at the end as Smith continued to go to the body and let his hands go. And Galarza, undeterred, came right back. There you see the left hand landing there for Ishe Smith. But Galarz is going to step inside and land a left and then a right of his own. And Vic Draculich separates the two fighters at the end. Valiant effort uh, from both clubs, both corners. Good stuff. Close fight, tough rounds to score. Smith had the knockdown of Galarz in the second. And Floyd Mayweather loved what he saw. Money Mayweather applauding the action. Ishe spent there 16 years as a professional, has seen it all, and wants an opportunity to see if he can uh, get back in the ring as a, a contender for a world championship. And Frank Galarza would love to just kind of get there for the first time. But give him credit, after a tough knockout loss the last time out, didn't want necessarily an opponent, and just to, to pad his record. Got in with a tough throw of a world champion. And Nishay Smith's a tough guy to look good against in general because he's a good defensive fighter. And typically doesn't throw a ton of punches. And so he's good to look, difficult to look good against, but Galarza did his best. So here we go. Let's send it over to Ray Flores now for the final decision brought to you by the Magnificent Seven in theater September 23rd. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds, we go to the scorecards. Here are your score totals. Judge at ringside, Dave Moretti sees the bout. 95 to 95, a draw. Overruled by Judge Glenn Trowbridge, who sees the bout. 96 to 93, and Kermit Bayless, who scores the contest. 95 to 94, for your winner by majority decision. Ishe Zagashe Smith. How about that? Ishe Zagashe Smith comes up with a majority decision, and it was razor close. The one judge had it a draw, the other two for Smith, and Smith is standing by with no doubt. Austin? Wonderful fight, it was a close fight. You say you had much success early on and then and it came out a little slow. How do you feel about your performance? Well, I, I could do better. You know, he, he pushed it and uh, I had control. Then he just, he started applying a little pressure. So I had to uh, kind of bite down the last couple rounds and take control, especially the last round. But you know, I'm a vet, so I just dug deep and uh, you no, know, he was tough. You know, he was tough. I didn't, I didn't think he won. I thought I won by like a couple rounds, two or three rounds, but uh, he showed up. Definitely a great fight for a main event. Congratulations, Ishe. And back to you, Fran. All right, Austin. Uh, great stuff there uh, between Ishe Smith and also Frank Galarza. And give Smith credit. He was a battler. And now he has uh, put together here a back to back victories. He beat the Tommy Raynone in his last time out and was able here to take care of Frank Galarza. So Galarza now has lost in back-to-back -back fights.